Hey there, and welcome to the Random Review channel. So, today's review is -da, this wee bad boy here. A little head torch. Um, cheapest chips, bought it off Amazon. Um, primarily for when I was out running in the winter and it's dark um, and there's cars about if I'm running on country roads. Uh, you're a wee bit concerned about getting uh, clipped and sent over into the into the fields. Um, it was cheap as chips, so I wasn't really expecting uh, an awful lot out of this thing, but I have to say, it has performed really, really well. Um, it arrived with two of these straps. Um, this one here, which is the black one, and like a light blue one, which is somewhere here, but for the life of me, I can't find at this moment. Which would be really handy if I had them both, because the benefit of having two of them means that you can swap these off. So if you've been out running, and this one here gets soaking with sweat, or if it's raining, um, and if it's starting to get a bit smelly, or you don't want to, you don't like the thoughts of putting on a sort of damp, cold uh, strap around your head, um, it clips off really easily um, when I'm not filming it. There you go, um, and clips on quite simply too. Um, so there we are. So that's it off and on. So you can take this one off, put a nice dry one on, um, wash this one here. They are machine washable, and. Uh, put it somewhere to dry and then you can keep rotating them around if you're out and you do sweat a lot. I sweat quite a lot. Um, anyway, so on to the functionality. Oh, one of the things I should say about the strap is that it is very comfortable. Um, it's quite low profile on the uh, inside of the strap. Um, and whenever you tighten it, it does hold really well. It doesn't slip. Uh, one of the concerns I had about buying a wee cheap one of these here was that uh, whenever you put it on, it would slip open. But uh, this one here holds the grip really well, and I haven't had to stop and adjust it, or it hasn't slipped down over my eyes or on my forehead, so I can't I have no complaints whatsoever about the strap. Um, okay, so onto the functionality then. So there's two buttons in this little uh, torch. This one here is branded X Luminous. Um, there's a thousand different variations of these here. They're all pretty much the same, and they're all rebranded. Probably all come out of the same factory in China. Um, I can't really speak for all the rest of them. I can only speak for this one here. This one here is, as I said, branded X Luminous, and I'm really, really pleased with it. Um, the two buttons in the front control the red LEDs on the outside and the Cree emitter in the, in the inside. So one click of this left button um, switches on the red lights onto solid, and they don't really cast an awful lot of light, a wee tiny bit, but uh, they're not gonna really light the road in front of you. They're, the red ones are primarily for visibility. The second click then puts the red lights onto um, red flashing, which is really handy and it makes you really visible if you're on the roads and there's oncoming traffic. Um, it's a really handy feature. So third click turns them off and then this other button, one click turns that on to full brightness. And I have to say it does cast an, a quite a bit of light for such a small emitter. Um, you know, it lights the way in front of me. It, it's not like a million candle torch but it lights enough of the road in front of me that I can see any potholes or sinkholes um, or anything else in front of me that may be a trip hazard or break my ankle or things I got there. Um, and it also then is enough that a car with its headlights on, you can see the light coming off this thing. So um, the first click turns it on full. The second click dims it down slightly. Um, if you're worried about the battery life, um, it may be a good function. The third one then puts it on the flashing mode, which uh, makes you obviously more visible. Or if you're a cyclist, that'd be handy um, to put in your head if you want that sort of extra visibility. And then another click turns it off. You can have them on in sequence, so you can have the reds on full, this on full beam, this on dimmed, and so forth. So there's any uh, any different sort of uh, pattern you want with them, depending on how much light you need to be on the road versus um, how much uh, visibility you want to have. So obviously, if they're all flashing, it makes you quite visible, but you're probably not gonna see as much of the road in front of you. So we'll just switch them off. Okay, in terms of batteries, the battery life on this is really good. I was really surprised at how long the batteries last. Now, for the purposes of this review, I've put the wee crappy batteries that came with it, and they are ge generic little AAA batteries, little alkaline batteries, um, and they're crap. They're really, really light. Um, you know, it would have been nice to get some branded batteries with it, but hey, what do you do? Um, so these three batteries I discarded pretty much straight away, um, and put in rechargeable AAA batteries, um, Duracell batteries, and they last really, really well. Um, even them wee crappy batteries did last decently for them, but um, you're better off taking them out and putting some good quality batteries in that you know you can trust. So 
in here. Now, the build quality of this here little device is um, really, really surprisingly good um, for all the price. It's made in China. It's ABS plastic, um, if any of you are concerned what it is. So it's, it's tough enough. It's quite a tough plastic. Um, it should take a bit of abuse if you drop it. Um, so this here bit is a little waterproof seal, which seals the battery compartment. And I have to say, I've had this out in pouring rain. I've sweated all over it, and I've never had a probably with problem with any uh, liquid leaking into the battery compartment. So this little raised seal um, does seem to serve the purpose well. Um, for the price, I couldn't really expect uh, for them to send you out a spare seal, <clears throat> but it would have been a nice feature. Um, and that's pretty much it. I really, really like it. As well as that there, it has different degrees of tilt on it. And I've had these up and down, like yo-yos, um, depending on if you're running um, and you just want to look straight ahead, yeah, you can tilt it down so that it's looking down at the road more. Or if you're more worried about oncoming traffic seeing you, fire it up and uh, they can see you head on. So it is a great little, and that hasn't loosened um, in the months that I've been using it, a couple of months I've been using it, um, it hasn't loosened and it is still um, tight, it doesn't move about, um, which was one of the things, because it's just plastic on plastic, it probably will eventually, and I may have to sort of, you know, hot glue it up in place, but in the meantime, uh, as I said, cheapest chips, really, really good, We budget head torch, um, if you're not looking to throw millions and millions of candles of light on the road in front of you and blind the oncoming cars, then you can't really go wrong with this here wee torch, um, this wee head torch, it is really, really good. Um, I hope you liked this review and if you did uh, click like and subscribe and uh, if you're on Amazon and this is a review on Amazon then please click a wee helpful vote there thing it really helps me out a lot um, and please stay tuned for more reviews to come. Thank you.